Hey guys, I'm Natasha and today we are going to discuss about three types of factors and that are polar vectors, coterminous vector and axial vector. Uh, and in the previous video, uh, I just took a practice question of concrete vector. So, let's start with today's topic. First of all, we are going to discuss about polar vector. Got it? So, let me write the definition then we will read it. So, what are polar vectors? Yeah. Those vectors those vectors which have a starting point those vectors which have a starting point starting point starting point those vectors which have a starting point are called polar vectors simple polar vectors so this means that those vectors which have a starting point are called polar vectors. Okay, and the other name of polar vector is pseudo vector. What is it? Pseudo vector. P S E U D O V C T O R vector. Pseudo vector. What is it? Pseudo vector. But I will take its name as polar vector. Got it? So, uh, it is simply saying that those vectors which have a starting point are called polar vectors. Now, let's take an example. So, for example, displacement, velocity, force, displacement, displacement, velocity, force and etc. Force, force and etc. Got it? So, for example, displacement velocity force. So, in the displacement vector, I told you about that. It's, uh, what is its starting point? It's starting in displacement, back, uh, in displacement. Uh, its starting point was initial position, as I told you. It was like that. X axis, Y axis. 0 comma 0 remember so and I, I just took uh, two points point A point B match it make arrows and then so A B is the displacement vector in the starting point A so this A point is the initial position and that is the starting point got it so now let's talk about coterminous factor okay coterminous factor Coterminous vector. Yeah, coterminous vectors. Coterminous vectors. Yeah, done. So, in this, what are co uh, coterminous vectors? Those vectors which have a common terminal point. Those vectors which have a common terminal point are called coterminous vectors. If we write it, then uh, I will explain you. So, it is that. Those vectors, those vectors which, which have a common, common terminal point, common terminal point, those vectors which have a common terminal point are called, are called what? Coterminous vector. What they are called? Coterminous vector. Coterminous vectors. Yeah. So, let us uh, let me explain you. So, it is that those vectors which have a common terminal point. In this common, it is, uh, it is talking about the common terminal point. Okay. Uh, those vectors which have a common terminal point, uh, they are called co uh, coterminous vectors. Uh, let us take an example. Yeah, so let me draw three vectors. Three vectors. Got it? Yeah, so these are three vectors. First one is, first one is vector A, second one is vector B. No, this one is, uh, this one is vector B. 
and this one is actor C. So you you all can see that this that their uh, means that their direction. Uh, this uh, this length will be the magnitude and this uh, these arrows will be the direction got it so you can see that they have a common terminal point see terminal means ending point and when uh, when you when you make arrows this means that the line is end there means that if we draw like that this means that the line start from here and ends here because of arrow okay so you can see uh, they have a common terminal point, so we can say that they are they are coterminous factor. What they are coterminous factor? Coterminous factor. I hope you all are enjoying this topic. So now uh, let's talk about the third one, and the third one and the last one is axial factor. Okay, axial factor. Axial factor. Got it? See it? It is axial vector. Okay. And now it is turn to tell you that what is an axial vector. Got it? So, what are axial vectors? And it has a, first of all, let me tell you that it is also an another name. And it is non-polar. Non-polar vectors. What they are? No, non-polar vectors. They are also called as non-polar vectors. Now let's, uh, let's talk about this definition. First of all, let me write, then we will read it. And then I will explain you. So, axial vector. Axial vector is a quantity. Is a quantity. See it? Axial vector is a quantity that, that transformed, that Transformed like that transformed like a vector that trans uh, that uh, transformed like a vector under under a proper rotation under a proper rotation. Got it? What is it? Axial vector is a quantity that transform that transforms like a vector. Under a proper rotation. The transforms. Not transformed. Got it? So it is that. Axial vector is a quantity that transforms like a vector under a proper rotation. In that it is talking about rotation. So let me tell you that what is an axial vector. Actually uh, axial vector is a vector which represents rotational effects and acts along the axis of rotation. Uh, you know, in accordance with the uh, right hand skew rule, or we can say any other, are called axial vectors. Got it? Axial vectors. Yeah, so first of all, let me uh, repeat the definition. Axial vector is a quantity, axial vector is a quantity that transforms like a vector under a proper rotation. It is simply talking about the rotation. It, uh, you know, tells us about rotation. But about what? axis of rotation but uh, you know uh, it its main work is to you know uh, represent the rotational effect and you know act along act along the axis of rotation got it so it is like that so uh, let me take an example of clock square shaped clock uh, it will be easy box 12 1 Okay, so there is 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Got it? So there is clock and there is midpoint. Yeah, so what is the time? It's 7, 15 p.m. Uh, we can also write it as 1915. 1915 15 pm. Okay. So, so it is that. So, it is the time. Got it? But we are not going to talk about time. Yeah. So, this point. This point is the axis of rotation. And these are what? 
these are the axial vector you know axis of rotation is what uh, let's take an uh, example like that okay so there is axial vector there is axial vector but you know there is what axis of rotation what is it axis of rotation yeah and remember that it can be start from right to left or left to right okay okay so it is like that got it these one are the vectors and this one is uh, you know on th from this from this axis of rotation vectors are moving and also like that axis of ro rotation is fixed on one place but the axial vectors are moving what got it axial uh, axial vectors are moving so uh, it, it was the example of the axial vector and now i am going to take in question of axial vector got it so let's take in quest uh, question that axial vectors axial vectors are what first second third fourth first is normal vectors second uh, you know second uh, see uh, the question is that uh, axial vectors are first one option is normal vectors and second one is vectors along the axis of rotation the axis of rotation got it third one is, uh, third one is tangential tangential vector tangential vector and and the fourth one is unit vectors unit vectors got it so it is a simple question in the question it is asking any axial uh, axial vectors are what and i told and i have recently told you that what is the axial vector uh, so the second option will be correct why because i told you that it uh, it actually represents the uh, rotation effect but it acts along the but it acts along uh, the axis of rotation is that uh, it also acts along the axis of rotation so second one is a vector along the axis of rotation second one is right because axial vectors are not normal uh, vectors it's uh, you know main work is to uh, represent the rotation effects means uh, about it it's all about rotation and the third one is tangential vector uh, but uh, tangential vectors will be also discussed i think so so any unit vectors are not because unit vectors are mainly used to find the direction got it remember that i have told you also in the previous videos so that was the question and i have to ask you an oral question what are tensors simple the physical quantities which have no specified directions and have different values in different directions are called tensors what is it i am only talking about simple means that those vectors which have no specified directions and they have different uh, values of directions and uh, that's why uh, those were uh, those will be called tensors and for example for example movement of inertia it is in common in uh, common example movement of inertia okay that will be discussed in more you know uh, it will be discussed more but in the next video got it so uh, that uh, that's all for today and you know uh, i've told you about three vectors polar vectors coterminous vectors axial vectors got it axial vectors are those vectors which represent the rotational effect in acts along the axis of rotation got it and what are coterminous the, those vectors which have a common terminal point and ter a terminal point means that the ending point these one is the length means that this one is the magnitude and these arrows are di uh, direction got it and arrow told us that on, on the line on which point it is ending arrow told us that okay so and in the polars uh, polar vectors means that pseudo vector uh, those vectors which have a starting point like displacement velocity force okay so uh and that's all for today and thanks for watching and have a nice day